world. It is Sheila. Long time no see. So January is my least favorite month. I hate January. So, well, there's reasons. <laughs> I feel like, you know, all the hubbub of the holidays come to an end and being in Minnesota, it's the worst month for cold and not necessarily snow. I mean, we get snow, but it's not our snowiest month, but it's usually our coldest month. This year's been pretty mellow, but we also, it's like dark at 4 p.m. Um, it's like nighttime. So I'm so affected by like the sun and the light and the cold and all the elements and I just have no energy in January and I become a bear. I just kind of hunker down and hibernate and don't want to go out of the house or talk or in true IP form I retreat and I'm just kind of like gone and so like I always I always giggle at the the YouTubers out there that are you know, D-E, like T-E or F-E up high, they're, they're always going to talk about needing a break and I'm going to be away from my channel and I'll miss you guys and, you know, don't be upset and they just, they, they'll ramble and make this big to-do about them taking a break where IPs are just like, whoop, we're gone. <laughs> and, and everyone's like, well, where'd they go? And you're like, I don't know. And so, um, in true IP form, I vamped, um, became the ghost for a month. So I'm kind of feeling back to chatting. And so today I want to chat about TE and fairsies. So in the OP system, um, TE is kind of the fairsies function. Like everybody's equal, everybody's the same, you know, everybody should have, you know, just fairsies. It's like, it's looking at the outside spectrum and saying, I'm not smarter than this person in this area, or I am, I'm smarter than this person in this area, but this person might be smarter in this area. It's like, it's just looking at the spectrum of fairsies and what's equal and what's not equal. Um, and I, I wonder if like the whole everybody deserves a trophy um, epidemic, I think it's an epidemic, became, um, was TE savior people. Like, you know, everybody, everybody, just because you show up, you deserve a trophy. And I'm thinking, no, you don't. If you don't put the hard work into it, um, you don't deserve it. You know, Sally down the road worked harder. She deserves a trophy, not Jimmy who just shows up and an hour late and he doesn't deserve the trophy. So there's my TE demon in action where FI is like, we all are individuals. We all have our own unique special talents and you know, Sally was more talented than Jimmy in that because, you know, she was. And so it's funny to watch these uh, functions play out in real time. Um, and so I'm going to throw myself under the bus and talk about some Sheila T.E. Demon um, episodes over my years. So I was the worst kid. I don't even know how my sister and my parents put up with me. I was the biggest brat, a spoiled little brat. I really was. And I kind of still am to an, a point, but I really try to reel it in. But my mindset just, it's, so, okay. So here we go. As a kid, I have a younger sister, three years younger than me, who I was always just a brat to. Sherry is her name. Um, so Sherry and I, so my dad would like make dinner for us and dish up our plates and he'd be coming to the table with our plates and I'm looking at both plates and I'm assessing the fairness of the mashed potatoes or the piece of meat that's on the plate and who's his biggest. And if he sets down something on my plate, you know, in front of me and my, I look over and my sister looks like she had more mashed potatoes than me. 
I would throw a fit. I'd be like, how come she has more mashed potatoes than me? I, I don't have as much as her. And my dad would, you know, put some more mashed potatoes on my plate to try to, you know, make it fairsies. And I'm not looking, or I wasn't looking at the spectrum. Like, if he would have set that plate down in front of my sister that had less mashed potatoes, I would have been fine. I'd been like, fine. You know, he gave me more. That, you know, I got more. I wouldn't turn around and say, Dad, that's not fair. I got more than Sherry. Sherry should have more mashed potatoes. No, <laughs> I'm thinking about the FI and me and fairsies. And so, um, you know, my dad would... Poor guy, he was just always trying to like just serve us dinner, you know, or if I got, you know, if somebody got the bigger piece of pizza, I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, how come they got the bigger piece and I didn't get it? It's like that FI was so massive in my little TE, it, so I'd have these swings of fairsies, but I'm not looking externally, I'm, you know, what's fair for me. Um, so complete brat, always. My parents, whenever they had to buy us things, they always had to buy us the same things. So we always were dressed alike and got the same toys, maybe one color different because they knew my I loved you know pink and they'd get, you know I'd get it in pink and knew they wouldn't upset me. So my parents played into my little bratty ways, probably just to keep the peace and like okay this. This fight's not worth it. Let's just keep it fairsies for them because Sheila will throw a fit. Um, and my sister is so mellow. She's not that way. She's not me. And um, she just, she was just happy getting what she got. So the other bratty thing, um, I was the type of kid who at Christmas time, I would sneak into, I, I knew where my mom hid the Christmas presents. And I would, you know, peel back the tape so gently and look and see what we got for Christmas because I just couldn't wait. I had to know what we were getting. I was just most impatient kid ever. Um, it's now, 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 now. That was probably the, probably my SE. It's like, I want it now, you know, like not two minutes from now, now. And so I always was looking at our Christmas presents. And one year when Cabbage Patch dolls were all the rage um, back in the 80s my parents got us cabbage patch dolls and of course me being the strawberry blonde little girl with freckles I opened up my present and I had the redhead cabbage patch doll and my sister I opened hers and she had the blonde and I'm like I don't want to be the redhead with the freckle doll I want the blonde pretty doll and so I told my sister, I'm like, we're getting Cabbage Patch, which I probably ruined it for her. I mean, she was probably more than happy to sit back and just wait for Christmas Eve. And I'm like, there's a redhead and a blonde, and I don't want the redhead or something. And so I don't think I told her that I changed the tags, but I took from my tag, you know, Sheila, and switched it with the dolls. So come Christmas Eve, we're opening the, you know, the presents and I'm like, ooh, this, these are the Cabbage Patch boxes and I'm so excited and I rip it open and I have the redhead doll and I looked over at my sister and she gave me this smirk like I just outsmarted my big sister. She had gone and changed the tags back to redhead and blonde and I couldn't say anything. I couldn't, you know yell at her in the middle or you know and she just was all smug over there that she outsmarted me so I ended up with this the redhead doll anyhow um so I I always appreciate that she did outsmart me that time um and I think you know with our TE so low that gives us IPs um you know INFPs ISFPs the me against the world be, you know, fairsies because I still struggle with my mind wants to go to what do I get out of this? How am I going to get served? You know, how is this not fair for me? It's like, it's just automatic. Like my brain just goes there and I have to constantly, constantly dial it back and say, Sheila, it's not about you, Sheila. You know, 
stop being a brat and it's a, it's been a constant struggle my whole life and I've worked really well and hard and um, it doesn't come off that way much anymore. I mean, it, it'll come out, but I really work hard and I'm very aware of what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. And I think my big saving grace too as a kid was I loved sports and so my parents put me in, you know, group sports my whole life. And I think that really helped me develop that TE and teamwork and working together for the whole tribe. You know, what's best for the tribe, what works, you know, and being a one little small team member to make the whole cog work. Um, and yeah, so I'm very appreciative. So if you have a little child at home who is always worried about the life being unfair for them, how come Jimmy got this and how come I didn't get this and the constant fairsies in a demon state, more about their FI, like they're, you know, they think they deserve this. You probably have an FI save your little kid at home. Um, Cause it's just wired that way. And you know, we, we have to be aware of what we're doing and work on it to grow because you, you can't, have that mentality of me against the tribe your whole life or else you're just going to play that victim role and not have that growth mindset and my mindset is always growth i mean i'm just constantly calling myself on the carpet about everything um and it's taken years to get there but um yeah um <laughs> but like when we order pizza I still grab the biggest slice <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I'm still, a... <sighs> yeah. So if you guys have a little TE stories of your own, whether you're TE savior and you're always the kid who wanted to make sure, you know, everybody's included and everybody's equal and everybody's, you know, got a trophy or if you're, you know, TE's, demon low were you you know the why didn't I get this why can't I and like more like focused on the fi and yourself so um you know just we're wired the certain way we're wired and it doesn't give us the excuse to act in a bad way but it does give us um the the acknowledgement of knowing is that the word I don't know that it doesn't have to be that way that I don't have to stay in the me against the world mindset and life is not fair for everybody um, and that means you included so I've worked hard um, but I'll still take the biggest slice of pizza all right have a good day everybody bye